Well, as the wind has picked up a little bit, that just reminds me, it's getting about time to spray in some of the crops that were planted early. So today we wanted to talk about what are the post-emerge broadleaf choices for you on your farm in corn. Well, when it comes to controlling broadleaf weeds in a grass crop like corn, you say, well, that shouldn't be too tough. We can certainly pick out the broadleaf weeds. And certainly there are lots of choices for controlling broadleaf weeds when you get to corn. But there are some subtle differences between the products that you have to be aware of when it comes to timing and application and other cautions. So we're gonna talk through a few of those products today. Okay, so to begin with, let's look at all these weeds that we have now in the United States that are becoming glyphosate tolerant or glyphosate resistant. So you might say, well, all I need to do is go spray Roundup or all I need to do is go spray Ignite or Liberty in my, uh, in my Liberty corn. Yes, those options are still there for farmers, but the problem becomes trying to kill every last weed out there. So as a good example, I'm looking down in this particular field that has yet to be planted and I see a bunch of lamb's quarters. Okay, well, lamb's quarters, that's one of the weeds that Roundup is struggling with a little bit. Water hemp is another one that we see quite often on our farm. So if we're gonna go out there post-emerge, Roundup just isn't gonna cut it what are we going to tank mix in? Well, the first choice for a lot of farmers, especially early on in the season, is look, I've got all kinds of different weeds. Some of them are winter annuals. Some of them are just tough to control annual weeds. I'm going to look at something that has some dicamba in it. Now, the best product that's got dicamba, in our opinion, is status. Well, so when you say something, there's really only one thing. There's only one product that's got that safener in, and that is status. So when we talk about dicamba, you immediately may think of the old Banville or Clarity. They did not have corn safeners in, and occasionally, you you tip the corn over. Well, that's not good. You can't afford that when you're going for big yields and you got a good price for that corn. You definitely don't want to have yield loss. With status, it only costs a little bit more than Banville or Clarity, and it's got the safener. So that's the way most everybody in the country has gone. And when Darren talks about this, you have a whole bunch of different weeds. In scientific terms, we talk about having a broad spectrum of control, and that's really what status has. Now, that's not to say that Callisto, Loudus, and Impact don't have that, but we just believe status is a little bit better on some of the weeds like lamb's quarters and water hemp, especially early on in the season. Okay, now you say that it has a corn safener, and it certainly does, and they've got a wide window for application. However, we like to try and play things on the conservative side. Now, not saying anything against status. I think it's a fantastic product, probably the best one in corn. In Brian's opinion, it certainly is. In mine, I think there's some other options we'll get to in a second. But well, we'll it, it depends on the situation. So when you say early in corn, and I got all kinds of weeds, status is my choice. Well, if it's yes. a little bit later, then we like the Callisto Loudus impact. In some situations, we even like Buckdraw because we have a little less drift concern there and we're not as nervous about potential crop injury. Now, Status does have a crop safener in it, but we still worry about that a little bit because what happens if the safener for some reason that year on that hybrid doesn't work perfectly? So we still want to spray our status when the corn is eight inches tall or basically V5 or smaller. Where I was going, Brian, is with that drift concern. And yes, you have to be concerned when you're spraying status that you may have some drift. If you've got a little extra wind that day or you've got some gusts that are coming up, you want to be real cautious. Now you first will pick spray tips that produce a little bit bigger droplets to try and control the movement of the product, but it can really pick up and volatilize and move a little bit even after you've sprayed. So for that reason, I like to do status a little bit earlier in the season than I would some other products to try and avoid other crops like soybeans popping up where you could have some potential injury. If the soybeans aren't up yet or aren't planted yet, then your chance of injury is pretty small. Okay, so specifically when we talk about weed control, status is great, but Callisto, Loudus, Impact, that family, they're all virtually the same product. They're all bleacher products, we call them, or pigment inhibitors, in other words. They'll turn weeds white. Anyway, Callisto, Loudus, Impact, they're very good on just about every broadleaf there is out there too. About the only real differences we see are wild buckwheat and morning glory. Status is a better product than Callisto, Loudus, or Impact. And also when it comes to thistles, now Roundup probably is gonna take your thistles anyway, but if we were just talking thistles, status is a little bit better product than Callisto, Loudus, or Impact. Well, here's the other thing, Brian. We look at those bleachers. We have a lot of claims that we hear about, wow, we're pretty good on grass control. And you know what? On some real small escape grasses that are popular, through just a blade here and a blade there, you may wipe them out with a Callisto Lotus or Impact. I would certainly never tell anyone 
yeah, you're going to wipe out all the grass in your field. You just need to spray yeah, this product. Yeah, but just about everybody's it. throwing Roundup in anyway, so it doesn't matter. Roundup's going to kill the foxtail or some of those other small grasses that are out there, sand burr, wild oats, those kind of things. Roundup doesn't have a lot of problem with any of those. Well, okay, so let's look at some of the advantages of using those bleachers. They are a little bit safer to the crop. You can use them a little bit further in the season than, in my opinion, you can use status. Now, obviously, status' label is going to be almost as wide as what okay. the Callisto are. So basically are. what we're saying is if you've got buckwheat and morning glory, status is absolutely the way to go. Just spray early. Now, the other thing you can do if you want to get a little more activity on certain weeds is you can throw a little atrazine in. Throwing a quarter pound or a half pound of atrazine in with status or loudest Callisto or impact will definitely help. So again, we'd spray status early prior to V5 or five leaf corn, roughly eight inch tall corn. Callisto, loudest impact, we'd like to spray. You can spray a little later if you want. You can also still spray early. All those products do have some residual. The big thing we wanna to stress to you is if you've got a lot of weeds out in your field, get them controlled when they're small. I don't worry so much about, well, what happens if I have a few come back and I have to spray again? So what? There's a good price for corn. You've got good yield potential, hopefully. You wanna make sure you kill weeds when they're real small, if not even pre-emerge, so you get the very best yield. Because weed control, we talk about all these other things in agriculture we're trying to do to increase yield. It doesn't happen unless you have great weed control early. Well, here was the other thing that I was thinking. There are some guys that like to use 2,4-D late. After brown silk, they'll come in and high boy 2,4-D through. And, and I think your yeah. point there is the right one. If you wait to control weeds till the end of the season, yeah, you can still kill weeds, but the yield impact has already well, been felt. Yeah, but let me just tell you something I learned a long time ago. If you have your fields absolutely weed-free in corn until the time the corn is a foot tall, you're going to maximize yield in terms of weed control, okay? If you have weeds that come in after the corn is a foot tall, so what? They aren't gonna hurt yield. What they will hurt is they'll probably go to seed and then you'll have more population in the future. But yield is made early in corn. Make sure you have your weed control done then. Well, post-emerge broadleaf control is one thing, Brian, but our weed of the week doesn't fall into that category. How are we gonna control this one? We'll show you coming up later in the show.